Bahamas, you dig? Make sure you tune in with the voice of you. Taco Talks TV. If you don't eat, you die in the street. Hey, man, say, man. Thanks for pressing play, man. We tuned in with a cool dude. What's up, bro? What's up, man? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> sitting with Malik from Eat, in case you don't know. And if this is your first time tuning in, you tuned in with the voice of the youth, Taco Talks TV. Um, it's been a real, real exponential growth yeah. since the last time. Oh, what, uh, what have you been getting into? What, what's? Uh, well, since last time you seen, I think that was probably like almost was like last. Might have been two years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. Year and a half, two years ago. But um, man, since then, uh, we continue to elevate all the time. Of course. Yeah. Do our thing. Yeah. In the community. Uh, the clothes got way better. The production went way up. Um, we dropped like some classic pieces, I think. Yeah. Um, got the nonprofit established. Uh, Let's talk about that first, because yeah. we got we, it's a lot of different things to touch on. The nonprofit, I was reading up on it, and um, you just give me your explanation of like why you created it and why it's important. So it was just a way to move smarter for real, for real, because. Uh, we were already coming like, you know, out of pocket doing what we do in the community. Yeah. But the nonprofit gave us the opportunity to actually, I mean, have an actual platform. Yeah. So we could be official and um, do things the right way. And that's what we've been doing. We established that this January. And that's been going very well. Um, other than that, uh, it was just essential. It was just like a way to move better. Yeah. And so we always want to move smarter. And we've just been learning and picking up things along the way. So. That was just the next move. Yeah. So I'm glad we got that established. And that's just going to lead to um, us being able to do more. Yeah. 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 I don't want to talk too much about clothes, man, because you got the whole yeah. Instagram doing that. You got a whole bunch of other interviews. We got to right. do something different, add a little spin to it. But I just wanted to highlight that you, you know what I'm saying? You already you already know what you're doing, but you're doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? If you tune into the interview, go tune in at All Homage on Instagram, man. You'll see everything. But I wanted to talk about I seen you DJing a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm DJing now. And I like that because right. it shows that if you're good at something, you don't have to stick to one thing. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? You're good at clothes <clears throat> and all of that, but now you stepping over and you like that yeah. as a DJ. Thank you, thank you. It was important for me to be like versatile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And with me, you know, being out here more, I was kind of partying a lot. Yeah. And people was getting me the host, and I didn't really like being on a party scene too much because people just you know follow you and shit. Yeah. It was giving me like anxiety, so I was like, "What's a way for me to be in the party, but you know, not be bothered?" So I was like, "You know, I like playing songs. I like music. Yeah. I just learned how to DJ. Shout out to my man DJ Boogie. Yeah. Um, it all for real, for real, it all started one day because he was playing like a mix. He was playing like a mix on his computer because he had stepped away real quick, and um, I just got behind the computer. I like I was doing it. Yeah. And somebody had recorded me, and everybody thought like that was really me. And so I was like, shit, I'm about to raise down our DJ. <laughs> so then I just uh, started learning since then, and then I was getting good with it. I always knew music. I always knew how to pick songs and stuff like that. But now, you know, to get a crowd involved and, uh, yeah. you know, the party depending on you, I like that too, man. Like like you said, I've, I've been getting better. I mean, I've yeah. getting a lot of compliments. A lot of people sound real good at it. So maybe this might be my next call. I'm definitely in love with it, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But anything I do, like... I don't know. I don't. I don't do too much, you know. But anything yeah. I do, I feel like I'm gonna be good at it because I because yeah. I like it. If yeah, I like yeah. something. I'm gonna be good at it. Period. And do you do a lot of exploring and a lot of like a lot of trying new stuff, no. or is it really just something that like like the DJing or the photography or the clothes, yeah. like something that just happen to be attracted to you? Yeah, I never really go out on a limb. It's just a bunch. I just try the things that's been around me my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always been cameras around me. It's always been music around me. So I'm just uh, getting in tune with it, you know, because yeah. with me being an artist, I feel like that's just first nature anyway. I'm what, just not limiting myself. What do you want to do with DJ? And like, is that just something that you're going to be good at? And no, keep I want to like be like a super DJ, you know, a one-stop shop, all in one. I want to throw my own parties, DJ yeah. my parties. Um, I want to go on tour. I want to go to, like, all the different colleges and stuff yeah. and just kick flavor and play what I want to play. And that's like it. The um, advantage I have as a DJ is because people just like the brand and they like who I am. So yeah. I could just vibe out and play what I want to play for real. People, you know, like that. So, yeah. I, I, you know, 
I'm grateful to be in this position because a lot of times when you're coming up from nothing as a DJ with no name and stuff like that, people try to tell you to play and yeah. all of that. But for me, they just like, most people just glad I'm in the building, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> what um, what songs or how you, how you find the new mixes? Because the reason I like this so much is because, you know me, I like music just yeah. all together. And so you came in and you mixed stuff well. Like, you yeah. know, you see on Instagram, like somebody has spent like a little Uzi over top of a a kiki or something yeah. and then it'll mix well how do you know what combinations that go well together are you thinking about what other people think about or are you um, thinking about what you like no i'm just thinking about when i when i walk like when I, before i play a show like i don't never um like make a playlist or nothing like that yeah i just like um uh, like probably on my way i just think about or i wake up that morning and just think about a song that i want to hear real bad that i ain't heard in a long time so it might be like an old cheeky phone song yeah or, Somebody from the DMV song, or just like a song that, like, you know, only like a fish you like people know, and it's just like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. like I just think of like a couple of those songs, and then when I get there, I just got to see who I'm dealing with, you know, I yeah. got to judge the crowd, and then I just go off that, but um, I just like try to stay stay with the fundamentals of DJing, like the the, the little fundamentals that I've learned so far, and then that just help everything. And you just gotta be brave. You just gotta open that shit up and just think about like. Where you want the party to go? How you feeling? Yeah, and I'm always partying to myself, so yeah, it's a vibe. I feel like people grab, you know, if, if you feeling it, people gonna feel it. Yeah, so especially if you don't just if you don't sound like trash. With all your success, do you feel like people are growing more towards you, or you feel like you growing more towards isolation? Nah, I mean, with all the success, people just like like um, eat more. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say they're growing more towards me. They just like eat. Yeah. So it's like. Um, yeah, it's, it's not it's not more attention on me. It's just like the brand, where right? it's just the brand that's growing, and with the brand growing, it don't a lot of people don't know who Malik is. Yeah, you know, but well, that's cool. And and what about the people that you see wearing it now? Like, how does that make you feel? Like, you see people all the time, and they may walk past you, and I mean, it's cool. It's... Like, yeah, because I be seeing people. I be like, um, nice shirt, nice hat, and they just be like, uh, thank you. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I can tell they don't know who I am. But sometimes they get like all the way down the street and realize it. But it's just like you know, it's all the blessing. Sometimes I I like that, you know, that yeah. I'm just like a regular guy. Yeah, I, I appreciate that sometimes, you know. But like people like Alan Iverson, like Alan Iverson just had it on. He had a whole outfit. Yeah, I seen it. Like I want him to know who I am, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what is something that you looking forward to for 2018? Like what's what's some of your bucket list? Like a, a yearly bucket list? What kind of things you getting um, into? I don't know, like, I don't really, um, I don't really come into, the, like, the year with, like, specific goals. It's just, like, mostly, like, just stay healthy, uh, mentally, physically, try yeah. to take care of my family, things like that. Those be my only goals, but as far as, like, things I want for myself, things I want for the brand, that's just, you know, I wake up in the morning, and I don't know, like, with me and myself, I don't really got to tell myself to do anything. If I want something, I'm going to go get it naturally, yeah. so I don't need, like, a bunch of motivation or whatever if i want to if i if i'm telling myself i want to do something yeah and i'm not doing it then i just must don't want to do it you know what i'm saying yeah. anything i want to get done i'm gonna make sure i get it done yeah i be watching your story a lot and i feel like a lot of people and when i say story i mean like on instagram mm -hmm. and i feel like a lot of people ask you the same thing so what's five tips to entrepreneurs right now so that when they when they come back and ask you just be like oh. all right so the question is like how do i get um like I'm, I'm, they always like I'm trying to start this, or how do I yeah. get started? I'm just how like, you feel about that first before um, you get the tips? That's cool, but I mean, just start. Like if you ask somebody like how to start, then honestly, like you are you like ten steps behind rather than the person that's just out here just like using that time to learn something without asking nobody because it's the age of information. Like it's no excuses. Books, it's libraries, it's the internet. Yeah. Any answer you need. It's already out there. You don't gotta ask people, and then people depending on you, and people come to me like, yeah, I, uh, sent you a DM. I'm like, what you asking me for? Man? You think I started this because I asked somebody how to do it? Yeah. I asked somebody how to do this shit. Yeah. But you, um, but you, but you see my success, and you want to emulate that, and you want to be in my position. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you how. Yeah. Don't ask nobody. Yeah. You figure it out. You gotta yeah. fail. You know what I'm saying? This is not school. Yeah. Everybody can't do this. It's yeah. not something that everybody got supposed to go through and get a diploma. No, yeah. it's not for everybody. You got to teach yourself. Yeah. And from that, I think 
So what I've been saying a lot of when I came out to that event, because it's been a long time since I linked with y'all, the yeah. school and all of that. So I came back and I had the event, and I was just really, I thought that was really dope how you had other vendors that you had inspired at your own event. How, yeah. how do you... How do you have either the mindset or the confidence that you can invite other people with their brand and still uplift them without it taking away from you? I mean, because, it, I mean, different people don't like different stuff. I tell people all the time, like, it's really not a competition. Like, me, I got on all the same stuff, but I'm sure your shirt, your pants, your socks, your shoes, all that didn't come from the same place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's space for everybody to shine at the end of the day. And um, what's an event if it's just media, you know what I'm saying? It's way yeah. more way more people that other people like and there's people that want to get involved and it's um entrepreneurs out there that's that's trying to work yeah you know that's where i come from i'm an entrepreneur first before anything you know so i'm always support that because when you don't support you got to support what support you you know yeah and that's where i come from so you know people opportunities i come from opportunities so i just try to provide the opportunity with everything i do and just hope that people see that and notice that and don't forget that you know i'm i'm trying to spread it yeah yeah, I'm not. I, I'm never. I've never been selfish with anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I share everything. Ain't nothing worth having if you if you can't share it. Yeah. What's your What's one of your favorite memories from the past? The past since the last time I seen you. Uh, since the last time you seen me, just like all uh, bucks, like Allen Iverson, man. I was seeing Allen Iverson on Sunday. I just somebody just tagged me in a random video, like he just walking. In. <clears throat> I guess it was an event, but he just like walking. In. Yeah. And Virginia Beach with the eat on, like the shirt and the shorts. And yeah. the fact that I didn't give it to him, I don't even know how I'm not Yeah. Like, he went in the store and bought that. Yeah. Because he liked it. So, yeah. that just, that was like a, that's like a highlight, no question. Like, yeah. I'm going to tell my kids about that. Yeah. That's one of the top 10 basketball players of all time. Yeah, yeah. Like, and off the hump. And I think, I think also, you starting to fall not into the top 10 basketball players, but as far as people in the city. Yeah, like legends, yeah. Yeah, cause I seen I seen uh, the painting somebody did to you. It's a big old canvas, and oh, I yeah. think on one crook. side. Yeah, uh, that was crook. That joint yeah, is crook like canvas. that. Shout out to crook. Um, yeah, shout out to you, but crook I really canvas. like that joint. I hope I hope that one day somebody paint one of me like that. <laughs> but um, you really becoming iconic in the city, like and legendary as we see you. Yeah, I, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of noticing that now. I don't really feel it. Like, I feel it when, you know, I can light up a kid face and all that, but that's not, you know, really a goal of mine. That's that's real cool. Yeah. But, um, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just real cool, but that's not, that's not nothing that I don't feel like anybody looks forward to because once you get, it's just something, because you can't, I feel like with that, you can't put yourself up there, you know, people put you there. Yeah. So... I just treat it like that. It's just yeah. what people put me at. Yeah. I, I, I didn't step up there. I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't ever working to be, you know, on a legend or icon. Yeah. But I'm glad I am. I'm glad that people hold me in that respect. Yeah. Definitely. Nah, that's a definitely dope. Um, but like I said, I won't. I don't want to focus too much on the clothes. What's up with your personal life? What's going on? What's... Um, I'm. I mean, I'm just like real happy right now. I'm just been balancing everything. I'm learning a lot about myself. Um. My family in a good place. Um, it's just been like I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to just create more opportunities for my team. Yeah. And like my family, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to be able to be financially free and comfortable and you know, but I'm you know, all with eat, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just like just trying to create jobs and opportunities for my family and my my team has been down with me for the last three summers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real important to me. Um, and so that's, like, a lot of, like, what my focus is, for real, for real. Um, other than that, like, the family straight. Uh, what about the fun? Hmm? What about the fun and the females? I mean, females, females is, like, it's just really, I just feel like it's just time for me to just be on my grind. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, um, I feel that. It's, the climate out here is really crazy. <laughs> Maybe it's the retrograde. I don't know what's going on. What you mean by that? It's just like not a good time for for uh, dating with our generation because yeah, we not we don't have all have the same definition of it, and then it's just a lot of uh, a lot of transparency and honesty missing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm just like above all the BS, so 
I'm just in a selfish place right now. I'm not disrespectful or anything, but yeah. I just I do what I want to do. What about what about fun? What's what's some of the fun things you've been into? Have you been skydiving before? Nah, I have never been skydiving. You I trying never, to go? Nah, I never jump out of the plane. Never? What about See, indoor skydiving? Yeah, I probably indoor do the indoor. I do the indoor joint, but like that's not even skydiving. Nah, that's like that though. It's it was, like floating. It's like swimming in the air, right? Nah, it feel like I, I can't say it feel like skydiving because I never skydive. <laughs> but it's definitely like that. Um, what about the city? Um. The city Which that one now, I mean, if I'm having fun in the city, I'm out DJing somewhere. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of, like, got out of tune a lot with, like, activities, man. But I feel like, like, a, like somebody fun, like, real fun will come in my life, and then I'm going to do all that fun stuff. But right now, Yeah. fun for me is relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. and I don't think people sure. understand that. Like, I think yeah. like as an entrepreneur, we always working, and always trying to figure out how to do something better. So we never really get you no know, down yeah. chill time. I just like relaxing. I like. Nah, I feel that. I like shopping a lot. You know what I'm saying? What you What you shopping for? You shopping? I just like buying shoes. What about furniture? Um, not yet. I'm about to move in a new spot, so I'm been I've been looking at a whole rack of furniture. Yeah. yeah. So, you better get a house? No, nah, not yet. Uh, I, I'm not a house type dude. I'm gonna buy some real estate, but I ain't, I'm not a, really a house type dude for real at all. What's some of the most uh, popular insights you feel like you've been getting lately? Um, just I, I just feel like it's just been a lot of um, hints that I need to open up a store, which I've been working on as well. But I don't want to just do a store. I would want to do something like more interactive. Like me, I'm not a one-dimensional person. Yeah. So if I was to ever, ever get my own space, it definitely wouldn't be one-dimensional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so like, I don't know. So we were just talking about traveling. What kind of, what kind of places you want to travel to? I don't know. I ain't really thought about nowhere I want to go yet. Everywhere I think, like. Like everywhere I've been like thinking I want to like think about, I just go so far. So I feel like shit, I wanted to go out of bend by now. Yeah. I mean, this place I think is like tight, but I'm not really decided or anything. But as soon as I make my mind up, like on all the islands and all the places in the country, I'm just going to go. You know what I'm saying? You should go to uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, I definitely want to go to Africa. I want to go to, I want to go to Africa. Not South Africa first. Not there first? No, I want to go like. Nigeria or Ghana, Sierra Leone. You got roots back there? Nah, but my uh, I got a lot of friends from there. Yeah. And it's just everywhere I go, I want to see like the real part first. Okay. You know okay. What I'm yeah, cause cause South Africa definitely like New York. Yeah. It's nah, like African I heard it's New like York. That. Yeah, I heard it's like that. So I was like, nah. I'm a, if I'm being Africa, I'm gonna be in Africa. Respect. You trying to be out there like? Turbaned up with the sandals and the camel. No, nah, I'm trying to be like DC down. <laughs> Straight up. So you going over there like this? Yeah, they gonna love it. You gotta spread the culture, man. That's why we love them because they, we love them because where everywhere they go, they, they spread their culture. They stay true to who they are. So I gotta yeah. do the same thing. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I think I was over there. I was kind of DC down. I had the G Star jeans on. Yeah, with like all that shit because I don't even know how people feel about you know. Uh, it's a it's a it's a climate going on in the world too with America, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Cultural appropriation and things like that. Do you pay attention to uh to politics and all of that kind of stuff or your nah, time? I pay attention to DC politics because that's what it, um, immediately affects me. Yeah. And that's something I feel like I can have a little bit of an influence on or control over. Yeah. Especially because my vote counts more here. Yeah. But uh, as far as like. And, and what's your, your timeline look like? Like, when you hop on your social media, what it look like? Um, Is it a whole bunch of models? Nah. Or I'm goofy not. stuff? or It just be also be like my people. So, like, yeah, it's my man, Brian, right here. We got a quote. We got a nice quote. Yeah. Um, we got somebody shouting out somebody's song. Some funny videos. You know, I follow a lot of hashtags. So, a lot of my hashtags be on my... Uh, what type Time of hashtags around. you follow? Because I don't follow no hashtags. Uh, yeah, the hashtags I live. Following hashtags is tight as shit. Like, um, I follow a 35 millimeter hashtag for photography. Oh, yeah. I know I follow, that's like uh, that. Lakers hashtag. I follow if you don't eat you down the street hashtag for people. 
tag that. I, I follow um, Cowboys hashtag. Yeah. And then um, Sneaker News hashtag. Cowboys suck. I mean, our quarterback kind of talking crazy, but we ain't no trash. They not better than the Steelers. And I was looking at... It's a brand new year, bro. I don't know who, who the best. Nah, the Steelers Last like year, that. Last year, the Steelers was good, but I mean... Cowboys like that for me. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't watch no other teams other than my own. Actually, I'm wellin'. I don't watch no sports for real. I ain't watched football last year because I had cable. Respect. I watched it in like when I was in Boston for a little bit. I probably watched like four Cowboys. <laughs> Bless you. You be on Netflix a lot? Uh, nah. I just that. I just started getting on Netflix and watching the Last Chance You, the new season, Last Chance You. What is that, bro? Because people at my job. It's a JUCO jump. It's a JUCO joint about uh, you know. Basically, knuckleheads at a JUCO, and the school would be like that, but they'd be in the middle of nowhere trying to get scholarships to school, but they'd be messing up still and Respect. all that. But, yeah, I, 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 I watch that junk, but other than that, I really be on the Amazon Prime. What's up there? The Amazon Prime is like Netflix, but it's the Amazon version. Okay. It's a little bit better than Nah, me. you, you balling. I got Netflix and Hulu, but the Hulu ain't even my login. Netflix ain't my login. <laughs> Amazon Prime, but uh, I got Amazon Prime by accident. That joint was a hundred dollars for the whole for the whole see, year. Told you, ball for the whole year. Twelve right, divided by a right. hundred. You do the math. You know okay, what I'm saying? okay, okay. And I got all the movies, all the all that. Yeah. And I still got Netflix and my mom and them. What kind of foods you getting into? Uh, you eating healthy or you like I'm, going crazy? I just started eating healthy. I just got to the hospital last week. You uh, good? I got to the hospital on Saturday. Oh, did I get out of the hospital on Sunday? I got out of the hospital on Sunday. Nah, I was fucked up. That was like my third time this year. It's just been stomach problems for real, for real. Yeah. Not being hydrated, not take care, take, taking care of myself, but, you, you know, help with full wealth. I ain't trying to let that happen to me again. Yeah. Because a lot of people be worried about me and all that. Hell that yeah. Really, it really getting worse every time. I should really be hurting. What kind of, what kind of foods you enjoying, though? My appetite messed up, so... I don't know, like, I love crab legs, you know, it's the summertime, I love crab, crab legs. Crab legs be torched. I love anything with shrimp. You be glicked up? Nah, not at all. <laughs> you pull up with the burgers? Nah. At the cookout or nothing? I mean, I might, if real, for real, I ain't been to a cookout. I ain't had a cookout all summer. I ain't had a cookout about two, three summers. Because I used to get there when everything cold anyway. Yeah. So, ain't no burgers or nothing that good by the time I get to Cook out. I'm eating all sides, potato salad, double eggs. Have a uh, cookout school supply drive. I mean, yeah, we doing something like that. We doing something like that around. Simple City. I mean, around Simple City, we trying to get it, trying to just get all the details in pack, intact. Um, it'd be for uh, my man A1 Little Tony who passed away not too long ago. Rest in peace. Yeah, we be doing it for him. It'd be the second annual jump. You know, last year when he was still with us, he did it. Yeah off the humble so we trying to keep his name alive and trying to make that happen again this year so and like last year with that we gave away uniforms school yeah. supplies cooked out for the kids gave them ice had ice cream trucks around there all of them and what events how hard is it to actually get them to come to fruition you know what i'm saying because it seemed like it's always a lot of pieces um yeah that's why you got that's why you just need a team and everybody's do their job so most of the time when i got an idea for an event we make it happen yeah. Hurry. Right. You know, it's a couple of events that we just ain't reached the capacity to make it happen yet. But we are making things happen in the meantime that's leading up towards, you know, to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I had my first uh, Eat Day this year. It's going to be a big ass Eat Concert Festival. Um, mm -hmm. But it's going to be just all DC, you know, go go bands. I like that. All of that. You know what I'm saying? But eventually I want to get to the level where I can have like an Eat Festival everywhere and have. Yeah. Um, you know, bands, but also big rap, big time artists from other places yeah. on the festival as well. You know what I'm saying? Who are you cranking to as far as um, DC artists? I say what, like your top five, and then your I top, top five. I don't got top five. Like this ain't, ain't no specific order, but I'm uh, listening to uh, that Three O Black John a lot, The Underdog. Yeah. Um, Cute Foods just dropped something new. I've been listening to all the Cute Foods on since. Probably like what's that Johnny first? What is it? Not uh, Honey Round. Johnny came out like probably two years ago when he had first came back. 
Oh, ever since uh, he first came back, I've been rocking with him. The joint with ketchup on with and then bingo and, bells and all that. Yeah, yeah, I like that joint. I've been listening to that joint a lot. Um, still, uh, Don Vino, um, Mike D'Angelo, that's my guy. Yeah, Mike is cool, dude, too. Um, who else I've been listening to out the city? I mean, shout out to Baltimore. I've been listening to a lot of Tate Cobain. Yeah. Uh, LeClement, man. What about uh, Scola Sh- and Izzy? Yeah, Scola. Hell yeah, Scola. I mean, of course. Um, I ain't heard of other cuz. Izzy, yeah, I think. I gotta get hip to him. He got some crank. It, it seems like every time he drops something, it'd be a banger, too. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get hip to him. Um, Bro, it's just so many people, bro. Like everybody I have in my mix up live, like I, yeah. I like, I like what they're doing. I like their music. The mix up live is a show that you was at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, Lex Andretti, man, she is like OC hot, man. She yeah. reminds me of like me with the clothes, like how she just like started rapping in yeah. 2018, and she's like really good. She legit. Yeah. Um, Flex Cartel. Flex is I'm, like I'm that. Flex, yeah, I'm Flex official DJ. That's been like a highlight of the year for me. Yeah. A uh, big, big uh, title for me. I'm glad to hold that down. Uh, 218 is crazy, like big. And yeah. Biggs, his brother Biggs can flow like shit too. Like that's, Who's Biggs? Biggs Cooley. That's his brother. They oh, both, oh, oh. Avenue and Flex. Yeah, they, yeah, they both got it. They both okay. got it. Yeah, um, they definitely fly too. Yeah, they both got it. Yeah, they both got it. I'm trying Star to think. Power. I'm trying to think what else. You, you think you'll ever really get into concerts? Like going and being out there, not working, but just being out there to enjoy the moment or you don't like concerts? I mean, yeah, I've been, I've been going to concerts my whole life, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm about to go to that uh, Migos and Drake jump. Yeah. Uh, bought my ticket for the um, the Ray Shrimmer jump yeah. with Wiz. They coming to town. Um, but I was just at the Pusha T show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I try to I try to go to the shows as much as possible. I like the live shows. I love the live shows. Yeah. What about uh, your your top five national artists? Who uh, you cranking to the most? They don't gotta be the best, but who you cranking most, to? Most. Uh, so it's like Future Gunner Drake. Uh, Future Gunner Drake. Kodak. Oh, um, I seen you post that list. Yeah, I just posted that yesterday. I had Kanye on there. Kanye, uh, I've been listening. What, I ain't been listening to Kanye as much as. What you think about Kanye when he was talking to Charlemagne? Did you watch that? Yeah, I think he. I mean, I ain't had no problem with nothing he said. I I felt the same way. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't say I ain't like. No, I can't say I agree so with. As soon as he said the whole slavery comment, I understood what he said. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's kind of like my. We, me and him, come from the same thing. Me and him yeah. fighting for the same thing. Yeah. And I understand where he come from. I know all his songs. I know all yeah. his albums. I've read his books, I've read his mom's books, I've read the books about him, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I feel like I got understanding for this man, and I, I just evaluate things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you think you're a visionary? You put an emotional person in, 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 a, in a room of people that just want to, just waiting for him to blow up and say something crazy, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. But um, I knew what he meant by all of that, so I was never like bothered. I knew what he meant by the comments and things like that. And yeah. when he cleared up with Charlemagne, that made me, you know, that made me, more. Yeah, um, no, nah, just made me want to support, support him and clear and clear everything up more. Yeah, because we a lot of, most people that seeing him as the problem is the problem. Yeah, uh, like because we got to look at what we're teaching our kids, um, just by the way that we're reacting. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. teaching our kids is this is how you'll get treated if you think different or if you yeah. say the wrong thing. This is how people gonna nah, that's a fact. Treat you or like no matter what you've done, no matter. And that shit, it, it hit home with me so much because people know, like, all I do for the city. Mm-hmm. I could sit back and just make clothes and count my money. Yeah. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? But if one day, if I wake up on the wrong side of the bed or if I was to go through a series of traumatic events, like losing my mother and yeah. things like that, and one day I wake up and I'm a Republican, I would hope that all them same people that I helped out when I ain't, when I ain't, when I ain't have to, don't turn on me and say, yeah. oh, my goodness, he's a sellout, he's a con, he's all this and that. F him, forget yeah. him, post all these memes about me. I'm like, damn, the same nigga that, you know, yeah, that just did that, you know, for you. you think- just based on my beliefs, you got a problem with me now. Not, nothing I did, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, yeah. I didn't take food out of 
my people's mouths or none of that. Just as believe. I just believe something else, and now you want to crucify me. You it's think? Scary. You think that visionaries can connect to Kanye more? Because I feel like I never. No, I really think. Um, I think not, it's not visionaries. A lot of people are visionaries. I, I think it's uh, geniuses. Yeah. It's not a lot of geniuses. No, I feel like geniuses are the only people that could um, truly understand it. Yeah. Because when you're a genius, it's it comes with innovation, like. All the geniuses, most geniuses of any time, they wasn't appreciated in, by so their I generation. Think, yeah. The next generation and the next generation. People hated Jesus, bro. Yeah. Jesus was trying to tell these people all these things. Yeah, real life. <laughs> and people hated him. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, what happened, what's happening to Kanye, that's a true genius because that's what, that's what happens to it. Yeah. Because what happens to our geniuses, they, they, they are ahead of their time. Yeah. And people try to crucify. And people can't them. connect with that. Yeah, and they get scared about what they say, and it's and it makes people abrasive, and they don't play it safe. And yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that in certain aspects. Like I've been trying to get, I wouldn't say get people to reason with me, but get people to kind of understand his perspective on where he was coming from. Yeah, like if our ancestors wasn't, I mean, I I agree wholeheartedly, man. Yeah, like, I wasn't in that position, but at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like like my man um Killmonger said he said my ancestors my ancestors weren't on boats. My ancestors were would 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 die free before they die a slave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that is a choice that our ancestors had. Now yeah. if you had kids or whatever, I know how that could be different for you. Yeah. But some of our ancestors chose not to be slaves and some of them did fight back and some of them did die. Yeah. But they weren't slaves, they didn't die slaves, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was a choice that they made. Yeah, and we we slaves, you know what I'm saying. We can't put these uh, phones down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's a choice we make. That's a choice that we making. Yeah, and maybe that comment was not for us to look at slavery. It was just to look at ourselves. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that comment. It was made about our ancestors, but it it, it was relevant to us. Yeah, and that's what we missed. Yeah, the fact that yeah, slavery is a choice, but he said. Our ancestors had a choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a choice. It was a choice between life and death. Hmm. Do you think that... Do you think that... People missed too much of what he was saying by the exact rhetoric versus no. the message? I mean, I think people uh, missed... I think people was ready Was ready for that. They That's that's what they wanted to hear, you know? When yeah. people want to hear something, they're going to take that... They're going to take an a inch and go a mile with it. Um, if you take a careful speaking dude like Jay Z, if he was to say that, then people would say, "Hmm," and open their ears. Yeah. Kanye West say something like that, like what, nigga? They looking. Oh, at you him. tripping again? Yeah. Oh, look what he doing. He turning on us, cause he got the, cause he has the uh, Caucasian wife. Yeah. And and he has his background and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But Jay Z could have said the same thing, and I promise you, it wouldn't have been all that. I said I said the same thing. Uh, not for this particular situation, but one about um, like when people go to a comedy show. Like, are comedians really that funny, or are you going and you ready to laugh? Yeah, you know what I'm saying like people go to comedy shows and you sit on the edge of your seat and you waiting for a laugh. You know what I'm saying any little goofy little thing and you come back and you watch it later and right. it may be funny, but was it really like crying yeah. laughing funny? Sure up. It was like with Kanye. They, that's they, that's what we waiting on. You know what I'm saying? That's what we waiting on. I mean, it's so crazy because we expect this this black man that most black people don't support. We expect him to support us, yeah, and not to sell out. But he ain't sold out yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We turned on him first. Yeah. He lost his mom. He went crazy, and we called him crazy. Yeah. When really he just lost his mom, bro. Yeah. I never really been a, a super huge Kanye fan. He lost his mom while he was engaged. Right after his mom passed, he um, his his fiance left him. Mm. He dropped right away some heartbreak. Some people like, oh, what's going on? He's crazy. So yeah, everybody's calling him crazy. And then you know what I'm saying we don't even remember that this is the same dude that went on TV when uh, your favorite artist was talking about hurricane relief and how we can help each other. He the only person that went on there and said where everybody really felt. Yeah. As far as George Bush. And he the first person to call out the president 
Yeah. Before your favorite celebrity was tweeting Donald Trump and all this other shit. Yeah. And beefing on Twitter with Donald Trump. He was he was doing all this. You know what I'm saying? So he just don't get enough credit. But it's like now that I, I we read about stuff like this, but now I'm seeing it. And it's like, damn, it's so crazy. You're not, he's not going to get his flowers like it's still smelling. Yeah. Because 30 years from now, our kids going to be reading about Kanye West. Right now, we consider him an idiot. He's going to be an activist for mental health and and the, progr- and the progression of free thinkers and artists. Yeah. He's going to be, he can go down the history books for that. And he's going to be like a superhero or god of that by the time our kid our children's children start learning about it but for right now he's just gonna be who he is and i guess it's been like that for everybody you know what i'm saying yeah the myth only grows bigger and bigger everything only gets better and better what do you think about free thinkers like aside from kanye just the if somebody was saying to you malik what do you think an independent thinker is i support it bro like everybody been talking about this rally that's about to go on i'm just like and people talking about how they want to go down there and in the rally, I'm like, bro, if you stop racists from, if you stop racists from their, having their freedom of speech, then you are uh, basically supporting slavery. I mean, supporting like, supporting, not supporting slavery, but supporting Jim Crow. Yeah. Like when we didn't have rights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we was able to speak freely because, because of the First Amendment and they could do this, they should do the same thing. Hmm. Now, if we're going to be smart and we're going to consider ourselves smart people and, and consider ourselves better than them, we got to evaluate what's going on. We got a bunch of white racist people having a, a rights, a rally for rights. White people got all the rights in this world. Yeah. they only doing this to provoke us. So yeah. people can come down there and get thrown in jail and do all this other shit. And people think they're right by trying to stop this, by trying to stop something ignorant. But you wrong by giving it attention in the first place like energy at all i think that goes back to ignorance is bliss like it'd be a lot of stupid shit that be going on but people we need to get a new joint we need to get something that people can understand yeah because i don't even think people understand what bliss is yeah ignorance is (laughs) ignorance is death you're dead (laughs) you're a dead person walking you're a fucking zombie you 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 are you are in a way you need to kill yourself for real (laughs) like especially that type of ignorance like for the people that's trying to go down there and, and protest against white people rallying for rights. White racist people rallying for rights. Like, man, you don't got nothing else to do. With you. Like, you don't got nothing better to do. With just yeah. like, go read a book, bro. Like, go help somebody. You can go carry somebody groceries. Go do anything other than give your energy to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like that damn that damn hat. Yeah. People got mad at Kanye West for wearing that hat. When Donald Trump first wore that wore that hat, I wanted to wear that hat. I wanted to wear that hat last December, dog. For real? Yes, Why? because I because I saw what it was doing. People so smart and people think they know so much, especially black people, but they letting a damn hat influence yeah. them. You letting a hat get to you. A hat. And we gave the power to the hat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gave the power to the hat. But that hat is the new N word because we made it that because a bunch of black people started getting mad at that hat. And when black people started getting mad at that hat, Guess what? More white people start wearing it. So we gave it that power. Now we made it what it is. And you know I what Kanye that. did? He took away from it. Because at the end of the day, it was a lot of black people mad at him for wearing that hat, but they missing the point. Yeah. Because if Donald Trump would have wore that hat, the first time he wore that hat, and then a bunch of black and Mexicans would have wore that hat too, I promise you he would stop wearing it. He only did it to offend us. They wanted they they needed their they needed that N word. How is it? How it's is it? It's propaganda, you... man. It's political propaganda. I'm not. I'm an educated man, but you don't gotta. You don't gotta be as educated as much as I am to know that you that somebody's fucking with you. Yeah. Somebody's playing with your mind. <laughs> and people out here letting them, y'all. That's a crazy. Damn hat, a red hat with words on it. You really love letting that make you want to fight people with and uh, violates people's space, man. People are wearing that hat so you can go to jail. But I think. And your okay. dumb ass is going to jail for them. Nah, I feel that. Taking I, people cops off and throwing it down. That's assault, bro. Yeah. I said, damn cap. Let that person wear that cap, bro. Yeah, it's not hurting Cause you. Because you made that cap. We, you, with you being angry, you make that cap powerful. Yeah. Your anger is why that cap is, is why you're mad at that cap. You mad at because of yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel that. We I, gave power to that cap. Black people, all the people that hate that cap, 
gave give it all its power. Not the people wearing that cap. They don't give it no power. Only the people that hate it give it power. I normally like to be, I wouldn't say combative, but kind of argue to a point. But there are no points back to argue. Like, I was trying to play devil's advocate. But most of the stuff makes sense. And I was going to say that, you know, I seen some people, like, I was at Pentagon. Yeah, I see that Pentagon and Union Station all the time. And yeah. I'm just like, they don't even know nobody. These little ass white kids, they yeah. just doing it to be trolls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah trolling. It's, it's, it's all about trolling now since about 2016. Like, that's yeah. all that matters is trolling. And our president understands that. And he trolls on Twitter and he trolls in real life with damn hats. <laughs> and we letting these trolls get to us. But these be all, all the same people that be behind their phones. Yeah. And when they see a celebrity responding to somebody saying, why are you letting that get to you? Yeah. Why are you letting this damn hat get to you, dog? It's yeah. just a troll. Like, why are you being trolled? I feel that. It blows me. Hey, that's definitely an eye opener. We about to uh, we about to jump into these five random questions real quick. Um, I'm going to grab my phone. I didn't really, you know, we ain't really planning this out. Yeah. It's kind of just kind of unraveled. And these are the kind of conversations that I aim to have on Taco Talks. Um but yeah, let's hop into these five random questions real quick. You think you're more savage than 21? No, I'm not a savage at all. I don't know. It depends on what... My instinct savage? Yeah, I got a savage instinct. And it's... it's, it's, it's um, When I want something, I just make it happen, period. I don't stop at nothing. No homo. Would you ever pose for a new magazine? Um, it feels for a good cause. What? If it's just like a nudie mag, nah, hell no. Not like a Playboy magazine, but like, I don't know. If it was like a campaign for like a good cause, and like we, you know, if it meant something like how ESPN do with the athletes and everything. Okay. If it meant something, uh, yeah. What's the strangest place you've been recognized? I just got recognized on the street in New York. That was on Sunday. Cool. Yeah, but yeah, that's probably the furthest place I got recognized too. Well, nah, people recognize me in like LA. Mm-hmm. On a daily basis, about how many fucks do you give? Hold oh, up, uh, uh, like five. Like five for the whole day. Yeah. And what happens when you run out? Oh no, I'm just saying like. I don't, I'm not saying I, don't, I start off with five, but it's like five <laughs> things throughout the day that I just be like, that matter to me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's five every day? Probably more, you know? I think about, I think, well, yeah, it's probably, it's five or more because I think about the same things every day. Yeah. Uh, peace out, Girl Scout, Sweet Jeans, and Dinah Jeans. See you around like a donut. Thanks for tuning in to Taco Talks TV. You dig all oh, homies, we're gonna eat you down the street. Follow my man on Instagram and follow me. And if you're watching the video, it's a subscribe button right there. Click that thing for me. Run my views up. I appreciate it.